anyway, we're talking about visualization now. So it's all about finding that state in our mind where we're calm, we're focused, we're like, it's a little bit like being inside a bubble and we're connecting to intuition. We're connecting to the deeper powers of the unconscious mind and giving them permission to speak, giving them permission to give us hints so that we don't need something really bad to happen to us before we get the message. So I would invite you all and anybody watching this now, obviously if you're not, not if you're driving a car, but close your eyes and think of a time when things really were going your way. It doesn't matter whether it's at work, at home, with your friends and family, or whether you're on your own. Think of a time when things really went well. You knew they were going well. You weren't beating yourself up. Uh, it all felt easy. And now we're going to add some layers to that visualization. And this is an NLP term. Uh, they call them submodalities because our whole experience of life is through our five senses, what we see, what we hear, what we feel, what we taste and what we smell. And for most people, visualization is the biggest part of that. So the fun th funny thing is, is when we close our eyes, we see more. We can imagine more. So that wonderful time when you were in flow, when things were really going well. Let's put a bit of detail to it. Were you on your own? If not, who were you with? What were they wearing? What were you wearing? What was the, were you in outdoors? If so, what was the color of the sky? Was it windy day? We, what was the, were the trees there? Could you hear any animal noises, any bird song? What did you had to eat that day? Put as many details into that picture, as irrelevant as they might be. Because what you're doing is you're getting back into those neural pathways that were firing so effectively for you then. And when we can do that, when we can play that video over and over again, the memories are easier to retrieve and become more real. So it feels like how we felt then, we start feeling like it right now. And the scientists call that uh, lamination, my, sorry, myelination. The myelin sheath around those nerves grows thicker and thicker the more it's used. It's just like a thicker cable of uh, copper cable transmits electricity, more electricity faster. Uh, than a thin one. Now, let's add another little bit of detail to this picture. And let's uh, recall how we, what, how we felt during this time. What was the emotion that we were feeling when we were in flow on this occasion? And in one word, and keep this word to yourself for the moment, in one word, just think, okay, one word to describe my, my feelings, my emotions that day. And then, again, just keep this to yourself in your own mind. If this word, whatever it might be, had a color, what, what was the color? And then finally, connecting to your intuition. The intuition loves little puzzles like this. The question is, so how could I use this one word of how I felt and how can I use this color? How can I use it to make to bring these feelings, these memories back solidly bigger, brighter, bolder, so that they're there forever 
and I can use them on demand. So have a little think about that. And now think of a situation in your life at the moment and start to visualize how you would like that situation to resolve itself. Hmm. And again, was there anything you learned from going back in your memory banks that you could bring forward to this new situation? Again, visualizing what it is that you want. Now, of course, what you may what you may want, you may change your mind, but that doesn't matter. We've got to have we've got to have a starting point for this journey. All journeys start somewhere. And build that picture up so that, that picture is just as big as the one from the past. And Make sure that you're right in the picture. It's like a, a camera is looking on you. You can see yourself in the frame, but also you can see yourself looking out of your own eyes in this situation. So you're getting two different perspectives, the camera view of watching you and then you being the camera. So open your eyes now and um, uh, James, if I could come to you, uh, yeah. yeah. What was uh, what was the word that you came up with? Joyful. Joyful. Joyful is a really good word. Joy is one of the most powerful human emotions that we can have. So, uh, and yeah, yeah, I can imagine how great that felt. And um, what was the colour you associated with it? Like, like pale blue, not too dissimilar from the wall behind me. Just uh, similar yeah. to. The wall that's behind me, the pale oh, blue of that. Oh, very, exactly. I was looking at I was looking at your t-shirt. That looks pale. Oh, that's blue. a bit more grey, but <laughs> is it? Yeah, but you know, like a yeah, on the light sea day, it's lovely and blue and calming and peaceful. Okay. And um, did you come up with any ideas about how you might be able to use that? The word and yeah, the Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the joyful feeling was from childhood sort of my late teenage years uh, on a motocross bike it was just so much fun really carefree footloose and you know like you say our brain isn't fully developed then so we just let it all hang out and enjoy ourselves bringing that carefree feeling to the present for some of the stuff I'm doing you know coaching big teams and what have you just sort of having more fun with it I, I think that would I'm sure that would be very successful um, some some sports people take themselves too seriously and they take their <laughs> sport too seriously. Well, if we're talking about golf, it's a ball and a stick, come on. Yeah, a ball and a stick, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, James, for that. That's good. You'll, you'll keep us informed as to how things work out. Have you, have you got your project? You don't need to tell us what it is. but you've, Yeah, so I've, I've got a couple of irons in the fire. Let's just see how that pans out. Some of them have got... Um, it's the sort of stuff I've done before, but it's slightly different. So a bit more group work and what have you. So I just, you know, yeah, I think certainly let's let everyone have a bit more fun rather than just telling everyone what to do. Good for you. That'll be great fun for them and for, and for you. Energy always flows both ways. How about you, Stephen? What was your word? Um, it's not an emotion as such, but the word that was kept coming to my mind was forward. Um, okay, it doesn't doesn't have to be an emotion, forward. I think it goes along the same lines as what I've been talking about earlier in that um, I had, there was a very, I did have a very successful event in, uh, in golf at one point, believe it or not, but <laughs> um, the, the, the time that it did go really well and I won a significant event that I really wanted to win um, in my club um, when I was playing the final that, that I, I, I didn't think about it at the time but when I was visualising just now that was, that's kind of what I was doing I was just going from shot to shot to shot uh, and just trying my best with every shot and it, and it just there didn't seem any doubt that it was going to go my way inevitably um, 
And uh, on that occasion, it did, yeah. And um, if I had had uh, such a technique that you've just demonstrated uh, to carry into, into other ones and being able to try that, then maybe it would have helped. Well, maybe it would. And um, and what was the uh, the colour of, of for associate that you posted, you associated with forward? Well, the golf course that I was on that day was kind of giving me the colour. So it was like a very it was summer. So um, in Scotland, the uh, the green grass of a a kind of links inland but linksy type field got a lot of it had went that sort of brown colour that the links grass goes on a golf course. Yeah. If you can imagine the sort of burnt lynx grass colour, um, that was a colour that I was imagining. That that's a colour that comes to me when I think about that time and that event. Okay. And um, when you were giving some thought to how you could use all this for something in the future or something you would like to achieve, did you get any insights there? I've overlaid it onto a personal situation that I hope has a good outcome and um, imagine the people that are involved um, in amongst that colour and good things happening. Good things happening to other people as well. Yeah. Yes, for sure, yes. Yeah, now there, there, is, there is a secret um, that works that, of course, people have always known. And um, if, uh, if somebody, if I see somebody who's kind of struggling to feel good about themselves or what, you know, what their future might hold for them or whatever, I say, look, if you really can't think of anything, there's something that always works and will make you feel better. And that is um, come from a giving place, help another person, even in a small way, even just holding the door open for them. Um, it, it makes you feel good. It's a, you get a payback. You're doing a good thing, an unselfish thing, but it's like you're getting rewarded. And um, so, yeah. I, so I, I like that you had you you had a, that warm feeling for other people in your plan. Yeah, I, I was there as well, but I had to I had to consciously put myself in there as well because yeah. initially the 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 image was just of them and them being happy. Um, but I put myself in there towards the end as well. And I guess the next time I do it, which I will practice it again, I'll, I'll do, I'll maybe do that a little bit earlier. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, you're not being selfish. Um, it's, it's there for everybody. It's, you know, it's there for, for you. It's there for you, the people around you as well. I mean, it's, it's very, it's a very, um, it's, it's a very natural thing to actually keep yourself in the background um, but when we're doing our visualization, that doesn't work. We've got to be in there. Remember, this is our own private movie. We're not being boastful. We're not being pompous. It's okay. 